this is Mathia Ford with RenalDietHQ.com and today I wanted to take a quick minute and talk about eating whole wheat or white bread which is better why does it matter you know what is the issue with it so on kidney disease you have a lot of, on a kidney disease diet you have a lot of unlearning to do so there's a lot of foods that are healthy for you if you don't have kidney disease that you may have to change a little bit when you do find out you have kidney disease. So one of those things is the concept of potassium and phosphorus. So there's a lot of difference in the amount of potassium and phosphorus between whole wheat bread and regular white bread. First I want to help you to understand what is a whole wheat bread versus wheat bread. So whole wheat bread says exactly that. It says whole wheat on it. So if it just says wheat bread, um, then it's probably just white bread with brown coloring. So they do that a lot to make you think you're eating healthier and you're not. So it's similar to white bread. So when you look at bread, if it says wheat bread, do not even doing you any good to eat it. But if you do look at it and it says whole wheat bread or whole grain or um, you know seven grain that type of thing that's whole wheat bread and that's the bread that's different. So unlearning is you know there's lots of vegetables that you should be eating if you are following a DASH diet which is what you follow with stage one or stage two kidney disease then you really eat more fruits and vegetables. You eat five to 10 servings a day. You eat lots of carrots, lots of tomatoes, lots of um, you know fresh fruits like plums and oranges and limes, all those things. When you get to stage three, stage four, you want to manage those and, and eat them more, um, the lower potassium and phosphorus foods now I've talked about this before, you don't have to cut out potassium and phosphorus and you don't have to necessarily pay attention too much to those foods until your doctor says that that is something you need to manage and that's usually later on in stage four and stage five kidney disease. So this whole question revolves around potassium and phosphorus restriction because white bread and wheat bread and whole wheat bread in and of themselves are carbohydrate. So carbohydrate doesn't necessarily damage your kidneys unless you have diabetes. And if you have diabetes, you wanna manage the number of servings that you have with carbohydrates, but not necessarily, you know, whether it's white or wheat bread. So I wanna go over um, the specifics. So white bread has about half of the potassium and phosphorus maybe even just a third of potassium and phosphorus that whole wheat bread has. It just depends on what exactly the whole wheat bread is. So obviously if you eat that, if it's within your diet, if it's within your manageable calories and carbs, then um, it can matter because you can eat more of the white bread than just the whole wheat bread if you're following a potassium or phosphorus restriction. So it's just important to know that the whole distinction is about potassium and phosphorus. If you're not on restriction, then it's more, it's better for you to eat a higher fiber food, which is the whole grain, whole wheat bread, than it is for you to eat just white bread, which is really the equivalent of sugar when you eat it. So that's all for today. I just wanted to do a quick video and talk about whole wheat bread and white bread because I get a lot of questions about that. So have a great weekend and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.